inference about two proportions. Lesson objective. Construct and interpret confidence intervals for the difference between two population proportions. Lesson objective. Constructing a 1 minus alpha times 100% confidence interval for the difference between two population proportions. These are our three assumptions that must be satisfied before we can construct our confidence interval. The samples are obtained independently using a simple random sampling. Just as the previous video, N1 times P hat 1 times 1 minus P hat 1 has to be greater than or equal to 10, and same for the second group. And the sample size for both must be less than or equal to 5% of the original population. Here's the formula for the confidence interval. We're going to let Minitab and StatCrunch actually compute the numbers. Let's do an example. An economist obtains a simple random sample of 800 urban households and finds that 338 of them have internet access. He obtains a simple random sample of 750 rural households and finds that 292 of them have internet access. Find a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the proportion of urban households that have internet access and the proportion of rural households that have internet access. Assume that the requirements for constructing a confidence interval for the difference between two populations is satisfied. Okay, our p hat 1 is our x over n which is 338 that have internet access out of 800 which is about 0.4225 and p2 would be 292 out of 750, which is about 0.3893. So using those values and substituting them in to the formula, we see that the lower bound is negative 0.0310, and for the upper bound is 0.0974. Now let's see how we do this in Minitab and StatCrunch. In Minitab, we go to Basic Statistics, two sample proportions. We have summarized data so we select it and we put our x1 here, our n1 here, x2 goes here, n2 goes here. We click options. We want to select use pulled estimate of p for test and we want to change the confidence level. We want to change it from a 95 to a 99 and we want to leave the alternative a two-tailed test because Minitab will not construct the confidence interval if it's a left-tailed test or a right-tailed test. We hit OK and OK again. In the session window we see that the 99 percent confidence interval is given here. Let's go to StatCrunch. We go to Stat, Proportions, two sample with summary. We enter x1, n1, then x2, n2. Hit next. We change it from hypothesis test to a confidence interval and we change the level from a 95 to a 99. We hit calculate and here we have the lower limit and the upper limit. So to interpret this, we would say we are 99% confident that the difference between the proportion of urban households that have internet access and the proportion of rural households that have internet access is between negative 0.03 and 0.10. Now really what that tells us is since the confidence interval contains zero, zero is a possible answer which suggests that the population proportions can be equal. And we are unable to conclude that the proportion of urban households with internet access is greater than the proportion of rural households with internet access. They're not statistically significant difference. Thanks for watching.